welcome back to my channel make not your budgets or if you're new hello welcome i am so glad to have you here today we do all things cash stuffing budget planning saving challenges and honestly just all things dealing with money and of course we come here to chat so yeah for today's video i'm going to be stuffing my savings challenges and this is from the last paycheck in march and the first paycheck in april so we are finally catching up you guys we're catching up we're catching up so let's go ahead and count and see how much money we're going to be stuffing today 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 80 200 10 11 12 13 14 15 so we're going to be stuffing 215 dollars so it's not the usual amount but it is kind of sort of the usual amount um if you divide it into two so anyhow let's go ahead and get right into the cash stuffing all right so with this stuffing and my last stuffing on my previous video we're going to be stuffing a total of 525 dollars so let's go ahead down here to savings challenges we're not really stuffing um many categories just three this time so let's see let's go ahead on to our abundance fund and if you don't know what an abundance fund is it is pretty much your emergency fund but I have changed it to call it abundance fund so we're going to be stuffing two spots so let's go ahead and mark it off on the tracker so $50 each is going to be $100 and this is the 26 week savings challenge I know most of the time they say save a thousand dollars every year for your abundance fund and so i'm trying to stick with that and i felt like this 26 weeks savings challenge would work perfect for me because i felt like i could commit to 50 dollars every single week which is what i'm doing and i'm literally like so close to being finished so so far we are on the number 14 and um this challenge is supposed to save a total of 12.50 so i'm super excited about it we are almost done almost so let's go ahead and get the cash out of here and let's add 100 dollars. so 20 40 60 80 100 let's add it in and so let's count and see what do we have so we have a thousand dollars in the bank that's what this placeholder is and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20, 40, 60, 80, 7, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800. Let's go ahead and start writing this down. So 1,800, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So 54. Y'all, I'm so excited about this. So we have $1,854, which is so exciting because... We are almost to $2,000, which would kind of be equivalent to two years worth of saving $1,000. So I'm so excited. It is going to be a little bit over um, $2,000 just because this is a $1,250 challenge. And I also added in some extra cash whenever I was stuffing my Save 1K with Bessie last year. So if y'all can't do the $50 a week definitely go check out the save 1k with bestie savings challenge it's small amounts that you would stuff weekly and it's spread out for the whole entire year it's really good so definitely go check out that challenge we're not going to do black friday black friday still has the same amount but i'm still going to go over it because we do have new besties to come and check out the channel so i know it's a little repetitive but besties just bear with me because we do get new besties every day so sometimes they might not know so 20 41 2 and 3. so we have 43 in black friday i did want to you know start it a little bit but i'm mainly going to stuff this one and christmas closer to the end of the year so this is how far we are on the christmas fund it's 36 per icon and we're going to save a little over a thousand dollars so we have, let's see if I can get all the cash out. We have 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80. So 280, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So 288 in our Christmas fund. And everything you see is available on magnoliabudgets.com or my Etsy shop. Everything is linked down below. Um, so definitely go check out these pink 
double pocket envelopes because they're so good for your savings challenges. I absolutely love them. We're going to skip over our monthly challenge that's in this binder. We're going to go ahead on to security. And so I'm going to color in the number 28 and I'm still going to set 51. But I'm going to stuff a little bit extra and I'm going to fill in these two numbers right here. So I'm going to stuff 33 and 30 next time. So if I stuff $40 next time, I'll be able to color in these two with the leftover money that I have from this stuffing. And then the 40 should cover these two spots so we are actually really doing well on this challenge i kind of need to speed it up a little bit more and stuff more so i may have to sacrifice a couple categories um this week well last week um was also my last week working overtime y'all i was just like honestly i just want to be able to you know have time to do my own stuff at home and work in my office work on y'all's orders you know record videos be able to promote my business because i do one day want to be able to make this my full-time job if god willing he allows it but it's hard for me to do when i can't put you know all my time into it like i want to help out at work i enjoy helping out at work but i feel like everybody needs to be a team player and i feel like i've done my fair share of that and so I kind of want to do my own thing. So 20, 40, 50. So I don't know. It just get it gets tiring, you know. So that's 50 and then one. So we now have 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, 10, 20. So 20, 25, 30, 35. So 235, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. So 241 is what we have in the security savings and it saves a total of 800. So we have a long ways to go, um, but I don't think we're gonna make it um, for like when it's due. So I probably will have to pull some from my savings and I could probably continue on like doing the challenge and pay myself back, um, but we'll see. Because like I said, I do want to go ahead and begin and start on my Black Friday and my Christmas savings challenges. So this is the monthly savings challenge and you can get it just, you know, just the inserts or you can um, get the inserts in the binder. You can also just buy this binder if you're interested. Thank you all so, so, so much for purchasing from my shop. You guys, y'all have really been blessing me and i'm just so thankful and grateful for the support this binder is really nice as well i don't really see too many people with this binder it's definitely giving minimalist um but i really like it because it has the clasp so it's a little bit different and it can hold a lot more than just the um the binders with the magnetic clip so that's why I really like this one and I wanted this to be for these um, saving challenges because I feel like when we stuff it, um, these envelopes get a little bit thicker and this binder can hold it better. So I really love it. So definitely go pick you up one of these binders. I would greatly appreciate it and I think y'all will absolutely love it. Go ahead and pick you up this challenge as well. It's not too late to start. A lot of besties have purchased this and are still purchasing it. So definitely go get it. I, I do try to get orders out as quickly as possible, besties. But I do get, like I said, I get a lot of orders in. And so, and everything is being made by hand if it's something that I have to make. And I also try to limit myself to not going to the post office every single day just because that's gas and miles on my vehicle and so i try to get as many orders as i can done and then go once or twice a week so definitely bear with me i will get your orders out it's just going to take me a little bit of time being that i'm the only one you know doing all of these orders so just keep that in mind and be patient with me and y'all have been really patient with me on your orders so i'm just so thankful and grateful all right, so the month of April is going to be $32 per 
section so per square that we have to check off and we're going to save a total of 120 dollars this month so i'm doing two stuffings because march had five paychecks so i just go ahead on and carry it in to april so we're going to stuff 32 for that week and then 32 for the first week of april so 20 40 60 1 2 3 and 4 so we have 64 dollars here so let's go ahead and put it in these envelopes are very sturdy but definitely be careful with them because you don't want to mess them up you do want to be able to keep them you know and have them last as long as possible if they do open up if you have a laminator you can definitely run them back through the laminator so we have 64 dollars in there well okay so that's what she's looking like and like you see that it is the pickable envelopes and this is a really easy challenge you guys i absolutely love it and i mean you save a really good amount of money so that's why i absolutely love it this is my second time doing this challenge i did revamp it to look like this last year it looked different but that is pretty much it for today's cash stuff you guys i hope you all enjoyed it I absolutely love it. I love doing these videos and my saving challenges are my favorite envelopes to stuff. So I always love to do my saving challenge videos. But you guys, that is it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends all about my channel. So come on over here, budget with us, chat with us a little bit. Go check out my website, magnoliabudgets.com. Go check out my Etsy shop as well. It is linked down below in the description box. I'm sure there's something over there that you will love. And I will catch you guys in my next video. All right. Bye.